In this tutorial, we'll be discussing how to extract Forex data for your trading algorithms. For this tutorial, we'll be using the Tingo API. Um, in, in my opinion, this is probably the best option for Forex data due to the simplicity of use and the pricing. Uh, you can get pretty far without spending any money. Uh, and even if you did, it's only about $9 a month, I think, for um, unlimited Forex data. But even without paying, you can get a, a pretty decent amount of uh, data for your tr uh, trading algorithms. That being said, uh, all you need to do is sign up uh, for an account and then go to the documentation. Once that is done, we will click Forex, and this is where you will see your API token. And once that is done, we'll go to our uh, code. And then uh, for this example, you will need to copy and paste that, that API token into the secret.py uh, file right here. This is what will be used to store our uh, token and it will be called when we will extract data from this API. That being said, looking at our Extract data file. We have our uh, secret uh, secret.py file as being imported, as well as our other libraries such as requests, pandas, and pprint. Uh, pprint is just for displaying our uh, data to um, for debugging purposes. Uh, pandas is used for data formatting and Request is used for talking to our API. After that, we have our uh, headers. Uh, this is what will be used in our get, get requests to figure out uh, basically what type of data that we are going to be extracting from this API. Uh, as you can see here, we are getting JSON data. After that, we're going to declare uh, one of our variables here, the uh, ticker variable. This is what will be used for our, uh, or basically what type of data that we are going to extract. And in this case, we'll be looking at the Euro USD pair. I'm just going to zoom in a little bit to make it a little bit easier to see. Now that that is uh, explained, we're going to be looking at our get requests right here. So as you can see, inside of our get, get request, we'll have two, two parameters. Our, uh, the first parameter is our URL to the API that we are talking to. And then the second parameter will be the header, will be the headers or uh, JSON headers that we'll be uh, working with. So as you can see, we have our URL right here. Uh, first, we'll have this base, which is just says that we're using the uh, Tingo API. After that, we'll, we'll want to type in FX for uh, Forex data. And then we'll need to look at, we'll need to basically declare uh, what type of currency pair that we're going to be looking at. So with that, we'll have our prices uh, and then our and then we'll have this uh, new variable called tickers. We'll set that equal to our uh, Euro U USD pair. Then after that, we'll be looking at the uh, start date. Uh, this is basically what we'll be looking at. Um, basically the, um, the start of the data that we'll be looking at. So in this case, we'll be uh, January, uh, second of this year and then we'll be looking at the resampling frequency this is basically this is basically what type of data we're going to be looking at so in this case uh, we'll be looking at five minute data so each uh, record in our CSV file is going to be spaced five minutes apart likewise if this was uh, set to one minute each record would be spaced one minute apart after that, we'll have our API token right here. Uh, as you can see, we just have our variable uh, secret.api key. Uh, this is what we'll be uh, 
place in this bracket here. Likewise, we also have our uh, ticker, and this will also be placed right here in this in this bracket. Once that is uh, done, we'll get our uh, request formatted in JSON, and it will be stored in this variable called data. So just to make sure that this thing uh, works, we'll be printing out the first uh, three records of our JSON data. So we'll do extract data. And as you can see here, we have our uh, date, which is the first day, uh, January 2nd of this year. At time uh, 2205, uh, I believe this is UTC time or uh, universal time in uh, military time. So I'm not quite sure what that is for Eastern Standard or Pacific Standard Time off, off the top of my head, but as you can see, each one of these records is spaced uh, five minutes apart. And as you can see, we also have our, tick our ticker labels, Euro, USD, for each of these records. And we also have our closing price, our high, low, and open price. So we can, it's, it's almost like looking at a uh, candlestick chart. Now that that is uh, talked about, we actually want to have this in a CSV file. So we're going to delete this and then we're going to re recreate that same CSV file of our Euro USD da uh, data. And the way that this is, will be done, we'll, we will call the uh, from dictionary uh, method from our pd.dataframe. frame. And then it will basically uh, format that JSON file into a pandas data frame. After that, we'll export that, that data frame into a CSV file in the same uh, directory. So with that being said, let's run our script. Which only take a second. Now, as you can see, now this looks uh, more usable than the JSON format. As you can see, we have our our index, our day, our our ticker, and all of the prices that we are going to use. Uh, so this is going to be easier for a uh, to uh, feed into a uh, machine learning model or a, a trading bot, or or maybe you just want to look at it in Excel. Uh, this will be much simpler uh, data format than in JSON. That being said, uh, thank you for watching the video and 